Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It's currently 9.59pm on Tuesday, January 25th in New York City, meaning one minute until the Wednesday crosswords. On yesterday's mini, I came in first, then we had a tie between Bill Boris and the Glorp. Big shout out to them, my biggest competitors. Then we had Murray Unicorn and PB Geckner, under 30 seconds. After that we had Stickers, A plus B, Panda Gucci, Joe OB, KFS Venta, Hoopla, Gordo AM, Marks, ERL, and to Nomad under one minute. We had Aero Tangos, Antara Tuna, Herman Chow, Jay, Justin, Rudwick, who's had a rough go of it recently, Chenny, Brave Stanley, Ruthann, Jay Wu, Kimball, Ball Don't Lie, Cape God, Panda Doggy, Namgo, Lil Sun, M17, Phil, and Sia Sophia. It's been a while since I saw Sia Sophia. Um, yeah, so tough mini yesterday. Tough mini. Anyway. It is now 10 o'clock in New York City, meaning we should have some Wednesday crosswords. So here is your spoiler alert for the Wednesday mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Eat, micro, enter, adobe, tire, and wags. All right, very nice. Possible burger, sure. Steve Martin or Martin Short. Interesting choices, I guess. Uh, a Grebe. That's pretty hard. This is kind of classic crosswordies, in my opinion. Or, I know people are into birds. <laughs> Shout out to Bennett, who's into birds. Anyway, now for the main event. That's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Michael Schlossberg today. Here is your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. And we have circled squares and left-right symmetry. Really spread out circled squares. This looks to be like something interesting. Let's see what Michael Schlossberg has in store for us. Let's get into it. Lettuce, maybe bib, BCCs, IHOP, sacred Indian plant, and big. Yeah, I think that's chai. First part of a message just by the puzzle secret circle letters, rather. Guest essays. Is it op-eds? Is it Otto Schultz? Uh, Lated, I think, actually. Caresses. EDU, I see. Place a deli here, and maybe it's Laden. Snap decisions? Hypotheticals are ifs. I guess it's Olaf. This is maybe Urdu. This is we. These women rule the dance floor. Edna, Saint Vincent Malay, OPEC here, Brink, Cusp, Sight of a Legend, Map, I see, Prima Donna? I don't think so, actually. Uh, BBQ, isn't it? Be weird there. This is very weird. Actually, it's not. Okay, this is a spy. IPO. Venomous Bite, I guess it's Asp, perhaps? Kelly Ripa. Congratulations. Oh, Prom Queens, I see. Toby Keith. Barely Rains. S uh, Spitz? Against and Fit. Maybe Able and Anti? Uh, Bart here? I guess it is Spitz. Not sure what that is. This is SPF. Pretzels on Winter Highways. Salted. Cute. Is onto? Paseo? It's a float. Got. Not as messy. Meter. Um, for passing? No. On air. Oh, it's on passing. Banyan tree. That's nice. Deer. Near and dear. This is. Zeta here. Bonzi? No, Bonzo, because it's Sonic. Liesel here. Leno preceded Fallon. Genre similar to indie rock. I don't know, something pop. Uh, ratio and soy. And passing year something. I don't see it yet. Oh, I I test. I see. Okay, plain. Unadorned, alt pop maybe, ASAP, love, 
door path oh. up one I see decaf maybe amends here no no uh, coaster sled oh, that's a coil there chow is food Dino ducts maybe this is yapped cinder to be ember emu I'm not sure NBC here nets yeah penne a la vodka sneers and emens okay so it's an eye test congratulations on passing your eye test with I guess this is probably the standard eye chart but I forgot what those, th those things are called they have a name Optotype. Yeah. The Snellen chart. That's actually what I was thinking of. I should have switched over here. Yeah, so the Snellen chart has E, F, P, T, O, Z, L, P, E, D, and P, E, C, F, D. So it's these triangles. I guess they're really rows of letters forming a triangle. That's interesting. It's certainly not a theme that I've seen before. I don't know. To me, the thing that's really missing here, that's very clear on this chart, is that the letters get smaller as you go down. And there's simply no way to do this in a crossword. Um... And I think that's kind of a <laughs> that's kind of a key part of the of the Snellen chart is the decreasing size of the letters. So to me, it, like, and also another thing is like nobody, okay, not nobody, but most most people who don't work in eye care don't it doesn't like ring super familiar these specific strings of letters. Certainly the E. I think maybe we could have all said that, that an E was at the top, um, but no one knows the fifth line of the eye chart except for people who work in, in eye care. And so as a result, you know, the, the, <laughs> the theme isn't helping you get these circled squares, and it also like doesn't sort of ring familiar in, in any way. So it's certainly interesting. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I super love it. I don't... I, res I respect it for trying to do something new and interesting. Congratulations on passing your eye test. And when I got here, it sort of vaguely seemed familiar. Certainly the, the E at the end and the, uh, the shape is definitely correct. Um, so yeah, let's just call it a, an interesting idea. Um, Op-Meds and OPEC. Yeah. Laden. Did feel a little choppy. These, um, I feel like these left-right symmetric grids have less of a flow to them. Paseo. Surely Paseo also means something in Spanish, right? Oh, it means ride. But I guess you could... I think there's a... Isn't there a... If I'm wrong, I, it's, isn't there a Paseo restaurant in Seattle that, I, that I've been to? Yeah. There is. A Caribbean sandwich shop. Go If you're in Seattle, go check out Paseo. Um, <laughs> or I guess you could clue it as, as an old Toyota. I guess... Uh, I mean, it was somewhere in the in the old memory banks. So this has now been out of production for nearing 25 years. I think I might have included it as a Spanish word, maybe, but... Liesel Von Trapp. I always like the uh, interesting SL at the end there. Alt Pop. Yeah, emend versus Amend, but... 
I think it, the cross is very clear there. Yeah, it's, uh, I like Banyan tree. Let's take a look at a Banyan tree. It's a nice long fill. And Banyan trees are super cool looking. They have secrets, apparently. Genomic study may have brought light to them. The hidden secrets of the Banyan tree. Olaf Schultz, the new chancellor. Um, replacing Angela Merkel. I guess maybe over the, uh, the next few years I'll get to know his name better. We just had Condition the Mini the other day, right? Prom Queens. Kelly Ripa. Toby Keith. Some names here, but Spitz. I don't think I, I don't know anybody who actually uses this expression, but feels kind of folksy. Bedtime for Bonzo, I didn't know. There's a decent amount of stuff I didn't know. Oh, it's a, uh, it's this chimpanzee. 1951 American comedy film. It's probably not a better way to clue Bonzo, I guess, but interesting Q's and Z's there. I do like the clue here for like pretzels and winter highways. It's not um any wordplay or anything, which is kind of fun. Yeah, up one. I don't think it's great. I'm not allowed to put up two. Up three. Yeah, I think it's a uh, it's a it's a totally reasonable puzzle. It's trying to do something new and interesting, which I like. I don't know if it quite hits that great for me, but better to, to try to do something interesting, I think, than to just... I mean, certainly if you want to get published, I think you have to do something interesting. Anyway, that'll be... Um, I would call that about average for a Wednesday. Yesterday's puzzles were a little slow. Leaderboard for tomorrow, we have stickers... KF Esventa and J, nice and early, as well as Hoopla and Ruth Ann. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you tomorrow for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.